Wow. Welcome geez. back to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Um, are you kidding? It's always a pleasure. And uh, your new movie, we have to just jump straight into that. I was really impressed. Wow, thank you. Because, two reasons. One, because it's a really funny movie. Mm -hmm. But two, because you said you would never be in a rom-com. You're not a rom-com kind of person. No, I mean, there needs to be, like, a, a death toll for me to even, like, read a script. <laughs> That's, like, the front page? Yeah. How many people die? I'm in. Yes, exactly. That's usually, like, my bar. But, no, I've, I... Listen, I've always... I like the genre. Right. I think they're, they're very hard to make, especially if you want to keep your promise of making something really funny and really romantic. Yes. And I, I, I think we delivered on both. No, can I tell you, you have, because this movie's gotten 86% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah. which isn't everything, but it's hard to achieve that number. Yeah. Um, no, especially with a, with yeah. a, a rom-com, because, I yeah. mean, like, rom-coms, it seems like an easy formula, but you gotta be funny, you gotta have, a, gotta have a little bit of heart, and this movie does just that. It's a very familiar story, though. You play a secretary of state uh, who is running to be the first woman president of the United States. Very familiar story. Yeah, I think that yes. happened in Sudan. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> And, and in the movie, well, it's, it's a really fun story because you play alongside Seth Rogen, and uh, you guys are basically like this, this duo that's, that's trying to make this thing happen. What's it like playing opposite him? Is, is, he, is he as funny um, behind the scenes as he seems on camera? He, yes. He is really one of the most... He's the, probably the funniest person. Right. Outside of uh, June Diane Raphael, who's in this movie, too. Right. She's one of the funniest people. I've but, heard she's amazing. Yeah, they, they're... Both of them have this natural ability to just not aggressively be on, but just naturally funny yes. at all times. I also want to know who Seth Rogen's agent is. Like, how does he always get movies where he's getting with a gorgeous woman? <laughs> I need to figure that out for my life. I can help you if you want. Yeah, that, like, that seems like a, a, a skill that he has. <laughs> So, 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 so let me ask you this. You, you, you've done a rom-com now. We've seen you in action. We've seen you in drama. Musical? Shakespeare? No, I musical. I want oh, to... oh, should I do yeah. a musical? No, that's never gonna happen. Why not? No, that's... Because I, I cannot sing. You find a way. You, mm. you, you're the... No, you know what? You're the, you're the kind of person who learns and knows everything. Do you know did who... you know? Did you know how to fight before you did Atomic Blonde? No, but I feel like you can learn that. There's a natural... Like, I don't have pitch. Yes, but I feel I like I feel like it's harder to learn how to fight because if you make a mistake no. in a song, your nose doesn't bleed. Well, <laughs> like it's easier to learn. And you, you have not you, seen me sing. And you when I <laughs> when I sing, my nose bleeds. <laughs> when you sing, yeah, your nose bleeds. And my and I, my limbs just break. No, that is how bad I am. I'm really dreadful. I'm a dread. You know who ruined it? I think before, like 20 years ago, you could still limp lip sync. Yes. But uh, Hugh Jackman just destroyed that for. He's an amazing singer. Yeah, I he mean, really is. now yes. that's the bar. No, I think you can learn. I think you're one of those people. <laughs> A this, lot of work. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. A lot of people don't know about Charlie's is that like you're one of those Church. obsessive people yeah. who see something and then once you start doing it, you go, "I am going to be the best at this." Like you still do martial arts now. Yeah. Well, I'm about. I'm. I'm two weeks out of uh, shooting a, an action movie in London, so I've been training for the last like three months. Right. Fight? You wake okay. up at what time? Uh, well, I wake up every morning around five to get my kids ready for school. Yes. I take them to school and right. then I go and train for three, four hours. At, that's just you learning how to fight again. Yeah. yeah. And you don't think you could learn how to sing. You should combine them. You should combine them and do both at the same time. <laughs> no, because your your voice isn't like Bruce Lee was doing that as a Whoa! like you could do oh, that I could. in the middle of yes. the thing. You could be that... fighting while singing. Do you know what I mean? You know what? I've been thinking this whole time like a certain style of singing, but that's a style of singing I can do. Kung Fu musical yes. Charlize Theron. Are you kidding me? I'm producing. We're making this people. Yes. We're making this movie. So, you're in the world of rom-coms. Uh, you've got an exciting movie coming out that's about Fox News, and you're playing Megyn Kelly, uh, which everybody really wants to see. But while you're doing all of this, you're raising a family, as you said, right? You, you like... You, you do it in the week. You, like, wake up to make lunch for your kids, and then you want to take them to school, and then you have barbecues with them on the weekend. You, you, you realize that's not a normal thing for many super wealthy people, like, waking up and making lunch for their kids. Why do you do that? W what do you mean? <laughs> I'm being serious. A lot of rich people are just like, yeah, the kids need food. And then they'll be like, Maria, the kids need food. <laughs> this is a true thing. And you wake up at 5 a.m. Let me tell you something now. When I have all the money that I want, I'm not waking up for shit. 
My kids would be like, Daddy, I'm hungry. I'd be like, that's why you got a chef. I'm not waking up. Why do you wake up? You know, because you want to. Kids, like, kids are, get ready for it. Kids will destroy you. Like, I. <laughs> you just said a like, negative thing is the no, most positive I, thing. No, in the most beautiful way. Yes. They will destroy you in the most beautiful, I mean, the other way, too. Right. Get right, ready right. for that, too. Like, yes. that's a fact. But they, I, I love it. I love it. I, I love waking up and ha having those two hours with my kids. Yes. And making them lunches that they probably throw away at school and have absolutely no appreciation for. You know what um, you should do if they throw away the lunches? A little trick that I've thought of is you should put a little bit of money in the lunches on certain days, but don't tell them <laughs> when. <laughs> and then if you go, like, how was your lunch? And they don't say it, then you'd be like, oh, I put $100 yeah. in there. You didn't find yeah. it? <laughs> and then every other day, they're just gonna eat the lunch looking okay. for the money. I mean, uh, you should become a dad. You would be great. I don't think I'd like to be a dad. I'd like to be a consultant of parents. <laughs> That's what I would like to do. <laughs> Yeah, that would be fun. I just tell you what to do with them. Exactly. Yeah, kids are fun when they're not yours. You just get to borrow them, have a good time, give them back. I if just, you ever want Mom, me to babysit... Why did you do that? Well, Uncle Trevor told me to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, uh, before I let you go, I have to talk about uh, all of the stuff that you're doing in the world with the Charlize Theron Africa Outreach Project. Um, many people don't know this about you, and I was lucky enough to travel with you to South Africa. Yeah, it's an amazing project. <laughs> I, I honestly was inspired to start my foundation because of the work you were doing. I saw you going back home to South Africa. I saw you working and, like, changing people's lives on the ground. And now you found a fun way to do it. Fun for people to, to donate to charity. Horrible for you, because... Horrible for me. Because if you want to sing karaoke with Charlize, you can now. And we just talked about singing, and I didn't even think about that. So you're gonna be doing karaoke with people if they join in. It's for the Charlize Theron Africa Outreach Project, and it's also for the National Domestic Workers Alliance. Yes. What, yes. what, is, what is that program? So that's... Uh, so I'm doing it with June Diane Raphael, who's in the film. She plays my uh, chief of staff in the yes. film, and she's absolutely brilliant. We became really good friends. And so I asked her to do this with me so that I could have somebody just to, like, to suffer ease with. the pain a little <laughs> bit because it's gonna be so brutal. Um, yes, and it's for both of our charities. Uh, and, yeah, we... we uh, listen, it's gonna be fun. I mean, either way. I, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it's gonna be fun, and it's for a good cause, so please go on omaze.com slash longshot and, uh, Come watch me torture myself. But 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 <laughs> but just so people understand what's happening, they get to go out with you. They get to go yes. out and party with you, we and go, you drink, we... and you and you you do karaoke. We're gonna go to a karaoke bar, and we're going to play. We're going to play a, a shot game. Oh wow! Yes, getting that we've... drunk with Charlize Theron. Are we you kidding me? Yeah, we set up the rules already. It's really fun, <laughs> and uh, I mean that's the only way to do it. There's no other way to for me to go and do this. Sober karaoke is very depressing. It was between yes, it's getting really drunk or having a small lobotomy. Those were my two choices. <laughs> like, I thought the, the, yeah, the first one was better. Right. And uh, let, let me ask you this. Have you considered that maybe this could be the beginning of a real-life romantic comedy? What if someone who wins really sweeps you off your feet on this, like, karaoke date? And then, because I read in the news, and then everyone texted me about it, that they were like, Charlize Theron, I cannot... No one wants to ask me out. And everyone was like, Trevor, you know her. Text her for me. <laughs> and you didn't text me. Well, what am I gonna text you? What am I gonna say? Yo, yo, <laughs> my friend John says hi. <laughs> Listen, you, 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 it you wouldn't you be the knew, first. But you knew you were causing chaos oh, with that. Did you man. not know? I... How can you, as Charlize Theron, tell the world that you cannot find a man? Did you not know what... That was a stampede. You should have been charged... <laughs> you should have been charged by the fire marshal for that one. I... I... And you know what? You're right. What I... You... I brought this on to myself. Yes. Yes. I, I take full responsibility. I can't complain about it, so... How many tell people John texted to text you? me. How many people texted you? A few. <laughs> Well, you know what? Uh, I don't know if the karaoke will find you love, but I know everything will go to a good cause. So exciting having you back on the show. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on the new movie, Long Shot. We'll be in theaters nationwide on May 3rd. And to enter to win a night out at karaoke with Charlize and to support her Africa Outreach Project, go to omaze.com slash longshot. Charlize Theron, everybody!